today we have a patient that's even a little bit more out of the ordinary than our usual out of the ordinary. It's a Eurasian lynx named Sasha. This is a wild animal that has more wild instincts than some of the other exotic animals we see in the practice. He appears to be a very calm animal, but at the same time, I consider him a wild animal, and I'm not gonna let my guard down. Because Sasha is capable of severely injuring another animal or human with his strong jaws, Barbara's son, Perry, helps bring the lynx into the clinic. Sasha is having an emotional problem. He's licking his fur off, and he's not eating, so he's lost a lot of weight. And I'm concerned about those two things, you know. Neither one is good for him. Hi, good morning, how are you? Hi, sweetheart, how are you doing, baby? Sasha is extremely calm, which in my experience with big cats is not normal. He should be much more feisty, and he's not. That tells me he's probably a lot sicker than he even looks. And I'm just gonna read over the history, doing the obsessive compulsive grooming yeah. and eating progressively less over Probably about the last four to six months, he said. I would say it got worse. It's normal for cats to lick. That's how they groom themselves. But what he's doing is really over the top. And I have grave concerns that if this goes on long enough, it could even cause death. My husband's been in the hospital for two and a half weeks now. Got it. And it's got really bad. I can't hardly get anything in. I hand feed him like a baby. Cats get anxiety for the slightest little thing. And he doesn't like change. He doesn't like when people are gone. And he takes it very seriously. He had been on Prozac 20 milligrams. Still is. Still okay. is. I, I don't know even how it's helping him. So we got a lot of things going on today with Sasha. This glorious animal, he's got this obsessive compulsive licking behavior, and this has created a medical dilemma with him. I highly suspect he has a big hairball in his stomach, and that's probably why he's not eating. But I really need to get some radiographs to confirm this. I recommend that we get some x-rays and blood work on him immediately. Okay. So that hopefully we can get as much diagnostics done yeah. while you're here. We've had exotic animals through the years. A cat is a cat is a cat, even though he's a very big cat. He's still a cat. He has a litter box like a cat. I mean, he does everything like a cat does. They look like overgrown house cats, but it's more like having a small tiger than a very large house cat. Just look at the size difference. You could really get injured by a lynx. What I'm gonna do is get some sedation ready, mm -hmm. and then I am just going to use a dart pistol. Mm -hmm. I've used it many times before. It's very accurate, there's no kick to it. Mm -hmm. It will act very quickly on him. Mm -hmm. We'll work together mm -hmm. to get him taken care of safely, okay? okay? I'll be back in in just a few minutes. Thank you very yep, much. Yeah, absolutely. We do get a lot of pets in here that maybe should not be in the domestic pet environment, but my personal philosophy is that they are here, they need medical care, and that is our mission here, is to take care of them.